Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. <clears throat> In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to follow up with another look at the ES to have a look what happened the next day after the previous day's uh, video we recorded uh, yesterday. Just to show you that not all days are good winners, it's like I, I, I say there's the good, the bad and the ugly. So the good days, the bad days and when the market is quite ugly. But let's have a look at this when we get into the uh, the video. So let's just remind ourselves that all examples of these videos should be considered as hypothetical. No trades were taken. They're just shown for illustration and trading purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading investing. That's what we'll be looking at today. Losses. And as such, remind you that no matter what trading approach you take, there always will be losing trades. Okay. Just want to remind ourselves what we looked at in the previous uh, video from yesterday, which was uh, on Friday, which is where we had on the higher time frame chart, we had our 15 minute DP support coming in, the nail the low, we had the market trend turn up, and then we had a beautiful TS3 wave 3 trade setup come in here. If I place the analysis on, give me a second, you can see it came up to where the market was on close, where was the close? close was about there wasn't it so it was a, a plus 10 plus 11 hour profit so a really really nice trade on that day but let's have a look what oops I should have cleared all there let's look what happened the very next day which was Monday so as usual we go out to the higher time frame chart so I suggest you review the previous uh, video just to show the uh, the steps we had but for those of you who have been with MT Predictive for well, a while will know that um, we go to the higher time frame chart. So if you're following a three minute chart, you go out to the 15 minute chart. Then before the market gets there, <clears throat> you go out to a previous swing pivot high or low. So we'll take this last made pivot high, place a DP on. And as you can see, the market did indeed go up to that level where it made a reversal. So that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to see whether the market is indeed making a clear picture. In other words, is the market making a reversal at our projected uh, DP levels? So you can see here it did exactly what we anticipated. So it's the opposite from yesterday. Yesterday there was a reversal at DP support. The market reversed up, gave us a TS3 buy setup. Here we had a reversal at our DP, high time frame DP high. The market turned down. We then had a sell setup here. Our MTP trend had gone gray to show we're in the process of making a reversal. So it was a good trade to take. So if I right mouse click here, to analyze trade setup, you can see that would have taken us into a short trade. Remember, we use correct position sizing to vary the number of lots, contracts, or shares to keep our initial risk small. And in this case, once we were short, the market went down, it reversed, and then it was stopped you out. So even though this looked like a very good trade setup, we would have had a losing trade. The market went up again, it made one of our history triangles here. So this shows you that at the time, if I right mouse click, place the analysis on to see what it would have been. At the time, it was giving us a TS3 W3 trade setup. So the exact opposite of what we had the previous day. But just like this setup here, the market took us in and then went up and would have stopped you out. So again, this would have been a losing trade. So this is why I wanted to do the video today, is to show you that just because you get a beautiful setup like this, that turned out to be a lovely plus 10 or 11 R profit. It does not mean to say that the next day when you get exactly the same thing, that it will also be a profitable trade. The markets are not like that. Losses can and will and do unfold. And in this case, you'd have had two losses. But the important point is that the, both these losses were kept small at minus one R uh, loss each. So overall, even though you had two losing trades, the total loss would have been only minus 2R. Now compare that to the profit the previous day of plus 10R. This is what we're trying to do when we mean keep your losses small and large profits. In other words, small losses and large profits. That is what we're trying to do at MT Predictor. But what can also happen with the uh, uh, traders who are following the markets is sometimes your own psychology can get in the way. And what can happen is maybe there were some previous losing trades back here that then got you worried. So you decide to stop trading for a bit. You then watch this great 
trade unfold, you missed it, you said, oh no, I've missed a great trade, you then come in the next day, you then take these two trades, you'd have uh, resulted in a minus two hour loss, you then say, oh no, I've made some losing trades, you then stop, and then suddenly the next one comes in as a profitable trade, you then miss that, and then you start again, and you catch the losing trades. And this sometimes can be that, that the problem that, that um, the trader gets in that kind of cycle where they end up just picking the losing trades and missing the good trades. Of course, you know, that's not the fault of the system, that's the fault of the trader. And this is where sometimes trading is not necessarily, or the difficult part of trading is not necessarily the actual trading system you have or the approach you take, like MT predict is not technically difficult. It's actually the psychology and actually dealing with yourself. So sometimes the hardest thing about being a trader is dealing with being a trader themselves. So the biggest problem the trader can have is the trader himself or herself. And it's important to understand that psychology is a big part of trading. And this is why it's important to, to try and take a, a longer approach. And uh, one way uh, that we teach here at MT Predictor is I used to play a lot of sport when I was younger. And I used to find it difficult as well when you're playing sport to then do, like if you're on the golf course, to do exactly the same putt time and time again. Uh, if you're playing tennis, exactly the same, the same serve again and again, or, you know, all these different kinds of sports. And what I developed was a way to not keep score. And what I mean about that was trying to do everything consistently the same and not worry about what the previous result was. So in other words, when you're trading, what I mean is not keep score, is don't particularly worry about your individual trades or individual days. Yes, at the end of the uh, week or the end of the month, you need to know how you're doing because you need to make sure that you're applying yourself to your chosen trades uh, strategy, be it MT predictor or something else, that you're doing that consistently. But what I mean is don't get too involved with each individual loss or each individual profit. In other words, only look at the profits and losses over a slightly longer time frame, like say over a week or a month. In other words, don't keep score on a sort of like individual basis. And I've found that, that helps because if you don't get worried that your last trade was either a loss or your last trade was a profit, you won't have the psychological baggage of trying to worry of what your next trade will be. So in other words, then you can approach the market um, basically with a consistent approach and uh, without deciding on, oh no, I want to either miss this trade or I want to take this trade. In other words, you can have a more disciplined approach to trading. So that's the way I phrase it. Don't keep score. So hopefully this has been a good video to help you um, deal with that psychological problem that I know a lot of traders do. And as I say, sometimes the biggest problem a trader has is the trader themselves. And actually shown you that like with MT Predictor, here was a very, very good trade setup where we had a plus 10 or plus 11 hour profit on that day. But then the next day we had two losing trades. So it's important to understand that markets have the good, the bad and the ugly. The good days when you have good big profits, the bad days when you have losses and the ugly when quite frankly the market is just just plain ugly and you can't really do anything as the market pattern is clear. So it's important to understand how markets unfold. So think about it as the good, the bad and the ugly and also think about uh, when you're trading not to keep score. In other words, don't try and focus on each individual uh, setup that you've uh, that you've just completed. And bear in mind that sometimes the biggest problem a trader can have is psychology. In other words, the biggest problem can be the trader themselves.